as the protein glows green, using fluorescence microscopy to visualize particular proteins or cellular structures. We can visualize where fluorescent proteins are inside a cell. Blue light is used, exciting the GFP within the cell, which then emits green fluorescence. Blue light is also scattered from the sample and needs to be removed. For this, a special type of mirror is needed, which rejects blue light and allows the green light to pass to your eyes whilst the blue light is reflected. We use very sensitive cameras, as the light levels emitted from cells are extremely low. We can now see that the hormone insulin within these cells is stored within small vesicles, seen here moving at the cell membrane. Fluorescent imaging has provided an invaluable insight into many cellular functions within biology. However, there are still limitations. The most challenging is that proteins are a billionth of a meter, a nanometer, in size, and normal microscopy cannot see objects this small. Biologists really want to know how individual proteins behave inside the cell. This is where super-resolution imaging comes in. Super-resolution techniques emerged recently and are continually being developed. It is now possible to track tens of thousands of nanometer-sized proteins in living cells. Regular fluorescence microscopy allows for the tracking of objects hundreds of nanometers in size, like vesicles, throughout the cell and in 3D. Super-resolution microscopy means that instead of single proteins appearing blurred, they now look sharp, revealing the exact location of single molecules a few nanometers in diameter. The advancement of microscopy has been driven by the engagement of physicists and mathematicians with biologists using fluorescent proteins derived from a range of marine organisms. This unlikely partnership has created a toolbox that allows biologists to see precisely where molecules are in cells, how they move, and where and when they interact with each other. These advances have provided us with the ability to directly visualize biological processes for the first time, opening the possibility of determining exactly what has gone wrong in diseases. New challenges include how to extract information from the huge data sets these approaches provide, and this needs the continued engagement of researchers from different disciplines. The future is bright.